very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, my friends, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from whatever place you're tuned on to the live signatures radio. I'm glad that you're doing so. If this is the very first time that you're tuning on to the show, please make sure that you subscribe to the show. I don't know where you're getting your podcast from. Maybe it's from Castbox or from uh, Podbean, whatever it is. If you're tuning it for the, for, the, for the very first time, just make sure that you subscribe to it so that you don't miss. Why? Because these episodes are always going to come to you every working day. You're going to find this. And the podcast is all about purpose. It's about productivity. It's about resilience. It's a teaching podcast. We are virtually incubating people for purpose and for productivity and for being resilient. That's why we're doing this on a daily basis. And right now we are in the middle of a series which is about resilience and it's about overcoming self-deficiency. There is no human being who is not affected or who is not susceptible to feeling self-deficient, even the president. Right now, the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden, at the point of recording this, is overseeing an administration that is haunting his opponent, Donald Trump, by giving him 78 indi- indictments. The man has been alive for how many years? But is today, is, that's when he's receiving these indictments. Why? Because someone is feeling deficient that their opponent is going to overcome them. Anyway, I'm not going to be political. Let me quit that. It's not my forte. Let's continue talking about that in this episode today. What can we do to fight self-deficiency? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. off by doing a recap of what we've been discussing so far if you are going to take care of your self-deficiency number one you've got to reclaim your identity okay i don't want to go back to and, and just talk about it but you've got to reclaim your identity your identity is connected to your deficiency and sufficiency if you're feeling deficient chances are that your identity is in the mix reclaim it if you reclaim your identity the way it's supposed to be, chances are that you're going to start fighting that self-deficiency and it's going to be less and less. However, as long as your identity is not going to be up, it's not going to be sorted, self-deficiency still comes and takes a seat, folds its legs and its arms in your heart, in your spirit, in your life, and continues operating. That's why you've got to deal with Reclaiming your identity. Number two, we talked about self-education. Educating yourself, increasing your own capacity. There is no way you're going to start increasing your own capacity by self-help and stay feeling self-deficient. Absolutely no way. Number three, got to discover and deploy your purpose. If you don't discover and deploy your purpose, what's going to happen is that you will continue feeling self-deficient. A man who is deploying his purpose doesn't have a time, doesn't have time to feel sorry about themselves. You know why? Because they are thinking about others. Okay? Then number four, what we're talking about is you've got to take action. If you sit back and do nothing, what happens is that that illusionary because self-deficiency sometimes is illusionary until it becomes real but the illusion of self-deficiency multiplies itself as long as you're doing absolutely nothing and we say that you got to take action any type of action in the first episode when we're talking about action any type of action will suffice it's better than doing nothing don't keep saying i'm waiting on the lord 
I'm waiting for God to confirm. All this spiritual lingo of excuses that we normally go through. We are not taking action because we are afraid. We are scared. We are lazy. We are comfortable. We just want a miracle to happen. We don't want to get involved. We don't want to get our hands dirty. That's why we are not taking action. And as long as we are not taking action, self-deficiency multiplies itself. Now, we started talking about the different types of actions that you can be able to take. Number one, you can take inspired action. Sometimes inspired action comes out of the blue. You're in a meeting and someone says something and it just strikes you differently. And you're like, I've got to do this. That is inspired action. Make sure immediately you are inspired, you are taking action. Now, the second type of action we talked about yesterday is consistent action. Just don't act today. Just don't read your Bible today. Just don't juggle the ball today. And then tomorrow you don't. Pile up this critical mass of action. That is what you need to do. And as long as you do it and create a lifestyle, what's going to happen is that that spirit of self-deficiency gets defeated right then and there by consistent action. Number three. The other type of action that we can be able to take is massive action. Let me talk about massive action today. Massive action. In other words, you go all in. As in, you don't spare effort. You don't spare time. You go all in to take this massive action. At some point in time in our lives, we need to take some massive action, especially if we're taking a different tangent in life. Massive, consistent action. What is massive action? Someone may be asking. It's just as it sounds. I will equate massive action to instituting a medium term to long term project. It's kind of a project wise. Think of it like you're doing a project, you're carrying out a project. Let me say this if you're building your house, You're saying, I'm going to build my house in the next six months. That's a project. You're taking massive action. So I'm using that analogy. In other words, at some point in time in your life, you might need to take massive action. So for example, if you're in the spiritual arena, massive action might be, I'm going on a 14-day fast. That's massive action because of something that you want to institute in your life at that point in time. Massive action might you might decide I'm going to save 50% of my earnings of my income. That is massive action for one reason or another. Massive action might decide to cut all the friends that you have in your life because they are affecting you negatively. They are not quote unquote friends at the end of the day. Massive action might, de- might you might decide I am going to cut out watching all these movies, Nigerian movies. Amen, ladies. I'm gonna stop watching Nigerian movies. That's massive action. So massive action is some action that you take, which is very extremely, for lack of a better word, it is very extremely controversial to you. It is also very extremely radical. Did you hear the R? It's radical, radical action that you take because you're instituting a detour or a change or you're instituting something new in your life. And you know what? That massive action will have to be t- followed by consistent action. We need this massive action at some point in time in our lives or another. It means that you have to plan and you've got to focus your energies on a particular project for a foreseeable future. Massive action has to be sustained until the project is crowned and it is finished. Right? So sometimes we need massive action. And so if you're dealing with self-deficiency, There is something that you might decide to do in a massive radical way that stems out this self-deficiency. But any massive action of any nature, it has a way of dealing with self-deficiency. What I know is that while you are in the process of taking massive action, self-deficiency tends to be forgotten. You don't have time to feel deficient. You don't. You are occupied. You do not have time to wallow in self-pity. You are covered. I mean, you have so much going on. You don't have time to think about how you don't deserve. You don't have time to think about how you don't measure up. You don't have time to think about how you're not needed. You're already doing stuff in a massive way. You can take massive action either on your own life to improve it 
or you can join people, friends, a mastermind, colleagues, loved ones, and you can launch something meaningful together. Either way, you'll be dealing with self-deficiency. I mean, you'll be beating self-deficiency, massive blows, just like Tyson would any enemy. So massive action. Tomorrow, we're going to look at one more action that you can take. There could be many different types of actions that you're going to take in life. But I'm just focusing on four. Number one, we've talked about inspired action. Number two, we've talked about consistent action. Number three today, we've talked about massive action. Just look at your life today and think, what massive action can I institute in my life, in the spiritual arena? What massive action can I institute in my life, in my body, my physical arena, right? You can decide this year, my massive action will be running 21 kilometers. I've never done that before. So I'm going to start by running one kilometer today towards running the 21. That's massive action. What can I do in my finances? What can I do in my relationship? I've never hugged my wife this year or this today. This day, I'm going to take massive action by hugging my wife for at least one minute. Yeah. I mean, you just do some... Uh, anyway... Tomorrow we're going to continue. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.